Hi, good Saturday morning, and Hi. welcome to... Zigzag, I'm Debbie. And I'm Terry David Mulligan, and, and together, together we're... Oh. Zigzag. <laughs> I'm going fishing today, Terry, so I really have... Oh, somebody's no. making fun of me. You're making, making fun of fishing? She's making... going fishing, you're no, making I don't fun, think, aren't you? It's not the right attitude, I don't think. I'm not making fun. I'm just purely back here trying out a new line, okay? Okay, we'll believe in this time. Okay, have a I'm nice... Encouraged. I envy you a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Zigzag! Zigzag welcomes the greatest, the living legend, Blanche Pink, the trickiest skateboard rider in the entire Canadian Commonwealth. Hello, Terry. Hello, Blanche. How you doing? I'm fine. Boy, oh, you're right. I had to get a new cane made uh, for me. That's different. Yeah. Keep, just to keep you, hold your hand? No, it's for the elderly if they feel lonely. I see. You can just hold the hand. Yeah, when Good. you're walking. Blanche, what have you brought us today in the way of pictures? Oh, I've got another one of my old tricks from the market. And it's just me trying to get through that road with those kids. Dug it up? Yeah, they yeah. dug it up. There's a lot of construction. Well, okay, roll the tape. Let's have a look at uh, Blanche's trip to the to the grocery store. Here I am. This is last Sunday. you got to go up to the uh, all-day markets. Here's oh, yeah. Yeah, gyrating your semi. Blanche, I can see your shorts there. Yeah, well, I, they're the ones. I rinse them out every night. They're okay. Still good. That's very good. What is this called? Um, skateboarding. No, carving? That's gyrating. carving. This is carving right here. All right, and there's, where's the gyration here? Coming up. All right, okay. Whoa. Right up along the top. Now, yeah. I can't oh, build well, there. there. A there kid you. kicked me with his bicycle. Very good, Blanche. Yeah. You're a wonderful skateboarder. Thank you. Well, it's only out of necessity that I do it. Okay, you couldn't demonstrate anything now, I suppose. No, I, no, I couldn't do it now because it's indoors. I'm only good in the fresh air. I'm I had to give up dancing because of the body odor. Listen, just one other thing. What? I know that you have a philosophy in life that perhaps you could pass on to our... It, it concerns wildlife, something, something about... Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. Don't eat anything that moves. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us about don't kiss a moose. I never said that in my life. I've kissed many moose. Have you? Yeah, your lips are swell, though, for yeah. days following it. So there you have Don't it. Don't suck on a frog's face. That's one. <laughs> Boy, I got a Bla million of them. Flies pink. Never kick a dog in the eye. <laughs> the can lash back at you. Trickiest bike and skateboard racer in the world. Never count your shoes with your tongue. Oh, boy, where are you supposed to be? I'm supposed to be supposed to see a boat. A boat? How can I find a boat? Everything's a boat. Woo! Sorry. Show off boat. Hmm. This is the water. Here's the boat. Have to find it. Mr. Hansard! Mr. Hansard! Goodness gracious, Debbie, you oh. scared me. Oh. You'll, you'll, you'll scare all the fish. Oh. I'm Jeff. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Debbie from Zigzag. Oh, it's not nice to meet you. Come on aboard. I'm not ready to go fishing. Oh, goodness. Well, we'll take this with us, but I think you're going to catch a larger fish than this will hold. Oh. You climb aboard. Okay. Here we go. I'll show you the equipment. I'll show you the equipment we're going to use. Okay. How do we start fishing? Well, first of all, these are rod holders that uh -huh. we put the rods in if we, uh, if we want to use the other rod. Okay. These are our live herring. Oh. We take a net. Like this. We've already got fish. Well, this is the bait. We take a live herring like this. We catch fish with fish. And take the rod. Now you've got to do this yourself. I'm, I'm just going to do this the once for you. Oh. Does that fish want me to do that? <laughs> this just won't come untwirled, but it's coming. Now, now it's coming. This is awfully fancy stuff you're doing here. Well, if you don't have your rods twirling like that, they get all tied up. Now you put this through the, if you put it through the nose like that, 
It keeps the herring right. alive. Now, you can fish. Okay. Yeah. I'm all ready to fish. Yeah. Now What's you... this for? What's this hammer for? Well, that's to club it when you get a fish. You mean it's going to be a fight? Oh, yes. It's going to be a great fight. We'll be right back for the fight. Zigzag! Hello, people. This is Terry David Mulligan, and once again, we're very pleased to have on Zigzag the one and only Billy Glitter. And I got dressed up for this occasion. Bill, come on out here, will you? This is uh, Duke, his uh, bodyguard, and... Uh, Okay, Mr. Ritter. Come ahead. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Just like old home we yeah, did. No, yeah, it sure, reminds great. me of the Beatles. And okay, it. get on with the interview, okay? Uh, you Bill? know what Mr. Glitter is doing? How you doing, Bill? Yeah, how you doing, pal? We gotta go do this whole handshake thing. I'd like to know, uh, Bill, I've heard a rumor. Now, we had a rumor uh, come across to tell us. Bill? Mr. Glitter? Oh, Mr. Glitter, yeah, Mr. Yeah, G, doing yeah, an interview. Yeah. Mr. G, kind of watch this for a second. Yeah. We we had a report, it's a rumor, just innuendo, that, that you are involved in a Save the Whale campaign. Is that correct? Yeah. I feel like every whale should be saved because they present for us as a humanity type thing a, a desire okay, to okay. save well, the world. Look, he, he's saving whales, okay? That's the good news. The bad news is he's okay. saving them in a big shed, all right? He's going to die in like 15 minutes. <laughs> all right, the guy is trying to help wildlife out, and he's just like... Uh, this is true, Bill? What is this? Uh, what is this, Mr. Glitter? I'm uh, waving to the Maybe camera. that's... Yeah, waving yeah, to waving the to the camera. camera. Maybe that... <laughs> Hey. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I'm trying to wait save the whales. He's saving the whales? He's not yeah. saving anything. He's like saving whales. money, okay? If you, no, you I, like whales? And uh, I want to and I have a, I want to have a whale. And that's my biggest Okay, thing. Mr. Glitter, I think we can get it all out on the table here. What Mr. Glitter is doing is he's saving money, okay? He's trying to find a way using you whale blubber. Money. You told he, me you're going to give Could me I just speak here? Glitter He's using whale blubber, endangered species whale blubber, I, to make the processing of his records cheaper. I think cheaper. We, we're going to have to go now. We're going to have All to right? go now. That's okay. your Mr. Beautiful, your <coughs> Mr. Wonderful. We're going to have to I know. I'm it's supposed to just be the nice guy all the time, which I always am the nice guy. Duke. But now, Duke. Mr. Glitter, Mr. Bucks, Mr. Big Guy wants Duke. to save money. Well, hey, endangered. look at this. We're running out of time. Duke, Duke, uh, that's yeah, it yeah, very you're much. running out of time. Thank something. you very okay. much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us here on ZigZag. What do you want? Mr. Bill E. Glitter, conservationist. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Type person. Bill? You know, what Duke doesn't realize is that if Billy Glitter goes down, so goes Duke. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. I well, like that. Oh. Yeah. But he, he's a very talented person on his own. Have you ever heard him play guitar? The control tower at the top of the airport terminal is the nerve center of the airport. All of the planes coming and going are supervised by air traffic controllers. The people who keep all the traffic in the air and on the ground organized and safe. All right, what is an air traffic controller? I figured I'd come and talk to the guy who selects them and helps to train them. His name is John Murphy. Um, you see thousands of uh, applicants go through? Yep. And how many out of a thousand would become air traffic controllers? A handful. Controllers? Huh? A handful. And, and what makes them special? Their motivation. They're a keen interest in aviation. You were saying some of them are pilots? A good half of them. Really? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the job itself, how, long days, short days? Eight hour day. But it's not a normal eight hour day? No. 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 A keen concentration? Yeah. Uh, a lot of energy? Very much so. Dedication to the job? Definitely. Uh, handsome, talented, like myself? And myself. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, if do you think the two of us get together and then work this as boys, do you think you can teach me how to do this? Yes. You do? Yeah. Oh. You ever been fishing? Sure have. Yeah, but not like this. Watch this. Zigzag! Okay, we're in the boat. We're ready to go. What do we do? Well, everybody in the boat has to have a life jacket. We've got a life jacket for, uh, for the two of us. Okay. We, you don't need to put it on at the moment. All right. I've got it right here by me. Now, we start the motors up, and then we go out. In the ocean! Oh. Here we go. Here we go. You push away from the dock. Yeah, give her a shot. Here we go. Watch out for the other ship. There's a ship right there. There's some huge ships around. 
Okay. What about that? Push the ship away? Okay. Ah! I did it. Get out of here, ship. Well, we're on our way, Debbie. Okay. Here we go. We're going right out there into the ocean. Big day! That's right, Mr. El Nerdo. That's right, Mr. J.P. El Nerdo. Deliver 50 billion uh, cubic feet of helium. That's right, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Nerdo, hold on, hold on. How long has he been out here like this? Oh, hold on, there's someone on the phone. I'm just hold on. It's what a do you long distance, Mr. Cool. You're, that's uh, my phone. I know, but I'm ordering, I'm, I'm trying to order 50 billion cubic feet of uh, helium. 50 billion, why? 50 cu... Okay. You know that dome stadium, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's full of air, right? Right. Suppose, Mr. Cool. Suppose someone was to fill her up with helium. Would it float? I think so. <laughs> okay. I, I okay, think, so you can deliver that? I think he's right. Yeah. Put that on the ChargeX card of Mr. Cool. Thank you. I think... All right, I got to go pick some stuff up, some yeah, other things. Yeah, yeah. Tubes and stuff to get yeah, in there. Right, right. Man. I think this could work, kids. Can you imagine it? Huh. Mr. Nerdo! Mr. Nerdo! Hey, we're back at the Air Traffic Services School. This is Jack Murphy. We call him Murph because we've been friends a long time. Uh, my name's Mulligan, and this is a simulator, yes? Simulator. Yeah. What we do here is just simulate the control of air traffic yeah. where we don't have to collide them and make a lot of mess of people's airplanes. I understand. And to briefly explain what it is, here what we have is a flight data board. Yeah. Aircraft flight plans are on here, so we know where the aircraft are going. Moving on, we have the radar. The center of the radar is the airport, okay. where the radar antenna is. Yeah. These are five-mile rings out to 30, mi or 30 miles. Right. The main navigational aid at Vancouver, called the Vancouver VOR. Okay. And all airways emanate from here, and you can think of them as highways in the sky. Going on, we have wind instruments. Yeah. Tells us what the wind is for the aircraft. Okay. Over to this panel is a, basically a transponder panel so we can identify the aircraft on radar. Okay, this is... This is a push-to-talk hotline so we can talk to the tower. Oh, and those one. are the frequencies so we can talk to the airplanes. And, and this and one? The far one controls the radar itself. Ah. I'm, I'm looking at this whole entire screen. I can't tell which way is north. Where, how do you do that? North is right here. Ah. South, west, east. Wonderful. Now we can do it? Now we can now do it. Now we can do it. When we come back, we're going to <clears throat> learn to fly, as it were. Big day! Why do we pick this spot? Well, Debbie, you see the ferry coming in? Mm hmm You've got to keep out of the ferry's way. They have the right of way all the oh, time. Are there uh, fish here? Well, there's lots of fish here. This, this Horseshoe Bay has been a... There's been fish here for a thousand years. There's lots of herring and lots of anchovy. And really? uh, besides which... It's very close to home. It is? For you, you've always been? Very close to home, and uh, it's just a grand place to catch salmon. I love it. It's beautiful. The triangles are up there, the trees and the mountains. Well, as uh, I say, if you catch a fish, then we can go out there and play it. Because uh -huh. these fish will run 200, 300 yards. OK, this will be fun. Where'd you buy the boat? Well, I didn't buy the boat, Debbie. I, uh, when I retired from work uh, 21 years ago, I built the boat with professional help. You built the boat? Yeah. It's a oh, it's no. a boat that's built for life. It's mahogany planks and oak ribs and 5,000 rivets in it. So you're very safe in this oh, boat. Oh, all right, thanks. <laughs> We're going to start fishing. We'll be right back. You're sure about the boat, are you? We think we're pretty smart. We're a little funky girl. We don't know nothing to do. We don't sit on our bed. We don't live in every land. We don't lie on the bus. I don't want to go to the bus. I'm just one part. We think we're pretty smart. We don't lie on the bus. We don't like to have a 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 bus. Yeah. Oh, go over dirty. there. Go over there. The camera oh, guy got tell you. Tell me. Go over that way. Yeah, okay. Tell I'm me the punctual. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, <laughs> hi, kid. No, no, no. What? No. no. Oi. Oi. Oi, kid. Oh, yeah, right. Hello. Hello. He's up. Hello, you little monster. Hello, you little <laughs> monsters. Welcome yeah. to yeah. Biff and Bart. That's right. We're it's doing up. a... Go ahead. Thank you. We're doing a punk show today. Don't say thank you, say. You what? better let me go, you slime. You be better let me go, you slimy right toad. Oh, you slime. slimy toad. Okay, you're... Yeah. you're so anyway, dirty. I can't talk like that. You talk like that. Okay. I'm talking like this. And okay. we're going to do a punk show today, so it's... Oh, 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 the door. So the door. The you get it. You get it. I got to get it now. Yeah. He's getting it. Well, He's well, going well. to get the mail. Oh, boy. 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 O
Dear Biff, I slam my face when I catch your show, big guy. He slams would, his face? Yeah. Oh. I would like to hear more about your philosophies. And please, do a tune for us. Solid energy, right on, Animal Eater. P.S. Trash Bart, get a new sidekick. Hey, what's this Trash Bart stuff? What's this trash bot stuff, animal eater? You dirty Kleenex, all right, I like all right. you. Thank you. Okay, it's time all for right. a recipe. Yes, time for a okay, recipe. Okay, we're making plastic fish. Plastic and, fish. And weed. And a little bit of weed. A little bit of weed yeah, we salad. Can do it. Okay, put and it you, in. Okay, you make it all like the that. And then you put up a big right. wrench. And you smash the fish. And you smash it. And then you got your salad. Don't forget the joke, the punk joke of the day. Yeah, what is the punk joke of the why, day? Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know why. Because he was stapled to a punk's face. <laughs> I'm Biff. I'm Biff. Oh, oh, where's our little guy? Oh, no, no, over, here. Over, here. Over, here. over here. Over here. We got a new guy running the puppets today. Over here. Over here. Over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. All right. Oh, watch okay. That's good. And now, move and be like careful. Our fish doesn't attack you. Yeah, watch out the cat fish. Watch someone doesn't put a clown face on you. We don't live in the heavy land. We don't ride on the bus. But you'll have some fun with us. Big day. Now sit Thank back you. and relax and enjoy life. Now you see your, your rod holders do the work for you. I know. What kind of experiences have you had fishing, Jeff? Well, I think one of the greatest experiences I had, one of my friends uh, uh, took me over to Kashmir, up north of India. And uh, we fished the Himalayan rivers, which were tremendous fish. They uh, go up to 14 pounds. Oh. And you're allowed three miles of river for two dollars Canadian, and you have a, a guide with you and uh, about six other people that one gets your tea ready and so on. So. But the guide doesn't know how to fish, so you teach the guide. <laughs> They're all Muslim, so you get them to catch the frogs, and when you put the frog on the hook, he goes like this. Oh, because then now uh, they don't believe in that. They no. can't do that. <laughs> no, yeah, I took a slingshot from Horseshoe Bay over just for fun and. When we were riding along in the ponies, I would uh, try and hit whatever was flying, but at night, the cows came into the camps and the Muslims won't kick them out. Mm -hmm. So they'd go get the pebbles for me and I'd keep them out with my slingshot. <laughs> I think this is a fish story or a cow story. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Zigzag will be right back after this commercial message. If you won't quit smoking, the least you can do is donate the price of a couple of cartons of cigarettes to the Canadian Cancer Society. So that when you need us, we'll be ready for you. Hemophilia. It hangs over those afflicted on ever-present danger. Hemophilia means cuts and bruises can cause bleeding inside. Bleeding that can be crippling, even fatal. Through your donations, many hemophiliacs are now able to lead normal lives, but more help is needed if a cure for hemophilia is ever to be found. Please lend the Canadian Hemophilia Society a helping hand. Help us stop the bleeding. There is no cure without your donation. Air Canada 290 departure, radar contact, climb runway heading, intercept high 527 on course, maintain flight level 330. So in other words, uh, these numbers here mean... Air Canada 292 to maintain flight level 330, climb runway okay, heading, so. intercept high level 527, proceed on course. Right, okay, right. so in other words, you told him what to do? What to do, how to get to his airway in the sky, and uh, how to go up it and climb to his uh, cruising altitude. Ah! You mean if I sort of knew the key phrases, I could sort of do that? Exactly. I could? Sure. Well, okay. You're, you're next one. The All next right, one okay. is KRS. He'll be taking off going to Calgary. Let's see you put him on course. Departure tower. And we answer the tower by pushing that line and talking into the microphone. Uh, e hello? Yes, departure. Kilo Romeo Sierra, off this time. Thank you. 
Um, thank you. <laughs> now what? <laughs> okay. Just wait for him to come up, and he will call you. He will show up on radar, right there. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, so this one, yep. he's going to go. Roger, Pacific Western 125 is with you, climbing out of 300 for flight level 330. Pacific what? Western 125, radar contact. Uh, uh, Pacific Western uh, uh, 125, radar contact. Climb runway heading. What? Climb uh, runway heading intercept, and intercept. Victor 347. Uh, Victor, Victor 347. On uh, course. On uh, course. Uh, maintain. What? Oh, uh, uh, climb and maintain flight level um, three one zero. Three three one zero. Roger, Good. Pacific Western one twenty five. Out of three or out of three thousand, climb runway heading. Uh, intercept Victor three forty seven. The on course to maintain at three one zero. See, all right. After all of that, he understood. Well, let's do it. Uh, we'll be right back after we see what's happening in the tuna wars or fish wars, salmon wars, whatever. Big day. Oh, you got a fish, Debbie. Wake Where? up, wake up, wake Where? up. Right here, right Where? here. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, oh. just take it easy, oh. take it easy. No, oh, you'll Quick. lose it that Quick. way. Here, just take your rod and tuck it down in here. Okay. And bring the tip up like that and let it play against the oh. tip. Just take it easy. Don't get too excited. No. Oh. Now bring it around here so I can get it. No. Oh. It must be huge. Do you think it's a whale? No, it won't get away. <clears throat> well, I'll get this out of your way. Bring it around. We'll I see it. I see it. I see it! Oh, it's Take her over here. Bring it over here. I got it! I see it! I know, but ah! just be careful. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. I caught a fish! Oh, just a minute. Get it. Get it! Get it! What are you doing? Get it! No, oh, you don't have to hit it that hard. You're Get it! There won't Get be it. anything left of it. Oh. Okay, you got it. No, just a minute, I'll get it up for you. Oh. I got it. I think you better take this one home with you. There you are. This is cooked a nice fish. And you're a pet. A fish. <laughs> is a man, but not like any other man. Sirhan Jones of Granby, Quebec, hits himself on the head with a fish for no reason. Is it really real or what? Was that really real or what? Caught my first fish. Now, how do we clean it? Oh, that's easy. First of all, uh, uh, we just. Do you want to clean your small one, or not right, clean I'll the clean big one? All right, I'll clean this one. You do the big one. Okay. What do you do first? Well, you you start up at the top end and cut down this way so that you don't cut into the meat. Then you clean the gill out like this. You hold it up and kill, take the gill right out because that's all bloody and so on. And I see that. Then you take all the innards out down to here. So the and, outards then. And then cut the, the uh, right at the base of the backbone and take an ordinary dessert spoon if you haven't got anything else and scrape the blood out of it. And that's all there is to cleaning it. I'm not going to clean my fish now. I'm going to wait till I get home. <laughs> it's okay. not the only thing I'm taking home, though. I found these cute earrings in the fishing tackle shop. Oh, they yeah, think? that looks all right. But mm -hmm. don't let that hook that you got dangling there catch in your ear. Hook? Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank Bye, you very Debbie. much. It was a swell day. Oh, it was fun. Big day! Terry, I have to go out for three or four minutes. Take over and keep them separated. No problem, John. I love that Murph, quite a guy. Departure tower, you have got four taxiing, Qantas 4, Papa Kilo Kilo, Air Pack 79, Pacific Western 413, and uh, Qantas 4 will be first. Who, who's, fir oh, who's first? Who's first? Qantas 4. Uh, uh, jo uh, jo uh, Mur Murph? Uh, Mur Murph, are you there? Hello? Uh, John? Uh, uh, okay, you can, um, okay, what you do is, um... I depart your tire, Qantas 4 is away. What? 
Who's away? Uh, one is four is away. Pacific Western, uh, 413 would be next. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, jo John! John! Uh, Vancouver, Papa, Papa Kilo is with you. We're climbing out of 200. Uh, requesting the import start, Victoria. Vancouver Ponds 4, Radar Adventures, Newburgh, over. Oh, Murph. This is ridiculous. You step out of the room for two minutes, the place goes crazy. Don't worry about it. It's only a simulation. They're not real lives or real airplanes. They're just yeah. practice. Yeah, I got caught up in it. I thought maybe yeah. there were people up there stranded. At times you can in. get caught up in it. I would imagine so. So other than the fact that we were just having them on, how do you become an air traffic controller? Who do you go see? What you do is you go to uh, the Canada Manpower Center in your town or city, and uh, they will explain the procedure because it varies from region to region across Canada. And that's it? That's it. And they will be able to fill you in and all the information. If there was one thing you had to be good at in, in school, what one thing would help you? Everything. As Everything. long as you show motivation, keenness, they'll take you. Okay. Thanks very much. All right, thank you. Okay. Zigzag! You. We'll be right back. People of many races and cultures help to build our nation. Yet racial discrimination still exists. We can eliminate racism and discrimination through understanding, education, and acceptance. Let's all do it for a better Canada. Thanks to my first aid training, I saved Paul's life when he nearly drowned in our backyard pool. When someone is seriously injured or having a heart attack, you have to know what to do fast. St. John Ambulance teaches us how to help you. Last year, Dad fell down these stairs. Our doctor said my first aid training saved his life. You owe me one pop. Take it from us. First aid training saves lives. Call St. John Ambulance now. With so many big men in the NHL right now, it can get uncomfortable on the ice for players like me. But there's something else I feel uncomfortable about. Something that should make us all feel very uncomfortable. It's a problem that can turn your family's life into a nightmare. And it won't go away just because you as a parent wish it would. You teenagers won't escape it either, unless you have positive alternatives. The more we know about this problem, the better we'll be able to fight it now, not later because later is too late when the problem is drugs. Please believe me, and please believe the counsel on drug abuse when they visit your local school or community. Since 1969, CODA has learned a great deal about drug abuse that can help you and your family. You can help CODA, CODA can help you. Call or write the counsel on drug abuse. Get educated, get involved, and let's get rid of drugs so we can all live comfortably. Oh, just, sorry. just the guys, just the guys. Yeah. Fellas, look, I'm back a little early. Have you seen Deb? I don't know.